Islam Amkhun, this is my second video on Mar'audishu's Kithawat Marganitha. Uh, my earlier one I was following a manuscript, so this time I'm going to introduce two ways that you can access it in written form and print form. One is this translation that was done by Nikhnoshit Mar'i Shaishumun, the anti penultimate patriarch of the Church of the East. Um, I, it has a lot of influence also by the translation that you could find in volume 2, I believe, of Badger's The Nestorians and the Rituals. Uh, it's in The Nestorians and the Rituals, I think volume 2. It's an okay translation. Um, what's most valuable about this, as well as the Syriac text that I'm going to share with you, is, is the amount of material that's put in it along with the Marganita. So the Marganita itself starts here on 23 um, of the introductory material. The text of the Marganita is there. You can see page 1 through... Uh, here's the fifth part. It's like a Shakespearean play, five parts, uh, through 77. So it's a short work. These are small pages. But then it has a couple pages from the Skuram Lachma at the Barzubi. Um, and distinct, distinction of Kiana, Knuma, Parsupa, and Appe. Uh, Marbao is famous, Tejbukhta, um, uh, Barpenchaye, uh, Madrash, Mara Aprem. Um, a bit of material from here and there. The list of biblical and ecclesiastical writings. And uh, for that, it's pretty good. The translator's introduction is definitely interesting. Um, I don't know if every line of it, you know, would would speak completely for the entirety of the Church of the East tradition. Um, you know, it, it's Mar Ishai Shimon's own writing as the patriarch. So he does write as the patriarch, but at the same time as, as a human being situated in his time. In general, I would also say this about the Marganita. Um, you know, it's a different than Mar Aprem or even when Mar Bawa is writing Al Khdayuta um, in a very purposeful way. Uh, Mar Ishay Shimon's writing as the patriarch in the middle of the 20th century, uh, arguing for a position of his church and his people. Um, Mar Odishu is a kind of high medieval, late medieval philosopher, monk. Uh, an Aristotelian, um, to a point that some, that both uh, I, I take delight in, but also uh, that sometimes irks me. Um, not everything he says is going to represent the whole tradition. Um, there is no such thing ever as the teaching, but there is that which is not the teaching. Uh, the teaching is going to be expressed through the fathers, which means um, that there's many versions of it. It's like there is the icon of Christ, but the icon of Christ itself has many different shades of brown and it's brown and red and it's red and blue and it's blue. Uh, it has many different um, material representations and words themselves are bound as all in a material way. Um, they're imperfect. And so we know that the truth is that which words lead us to, but which they themselves can't capture, right? The truth is bigger than words. It's bigger than human intellect. Not only of one person, but the collective human intellect can't hold all the mysteries of heaven. Um, you know, God is certainly that which can, cannot be understood, because the God that you can understand is just the God you made up in your head. Um, and, and so in the same way, um, you know, anytime we're reading, we're looking for a, a sense of the truth, um, a communication with it. Um, and Marodishu, I would not put at, at the same level, uh, again, of even a Narsai or an Ephraim. Um, and, and I mean that also honoring his strong Aristotelianism, his, um, uh, his own voice coming out in that medieval age. And perhaps the reason I wouldn't do that is because of his... Um, um the 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 his application of philosophy is, is is so sharp that sometimes he invites you to absolutize uh, on things that you know 
It can't be. He, he sums it up so much that it's like somebody who speaks with such a loud authority um, that that you feel like giving into it. Um, whereas with Ephraim, the, that poetic voice of his, uh, although I would say of 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 uh, uh, unspeakably high uh, subtlety, uh, it, it 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 invites you more. You know, it, it's a bit more seductive than authoritative. But let's get into him. And so we've got um, the opening of the Marganita here. I translated it in my prior video. The first half, we're going to translate the second half. Um, you'll notice that there's quite a bit missing from Mar um, Marshamun's translation, especially in chapter one. Chapter one gets into some rather technical material. So if you were to make a verse by verse translation and compare it to Mar Ishai Shimon's, you'll notice that some of the areas he uh, he skips. This is not a text that I think really should ever be translated because it's too philosophical. Uh, you would, should know Syriac really well if you know Syriac philosophy. Um, and it's, if you don't know Syriac philosophy, I don't know if you, you'd get this. I am maybe translated into Greek or Latin. That, that would make sense. I, I could kind of do that well. Um, or translating it within a larger work. Um, so, commenting on, on frames. Oh, here's a great way to summarize it. So last time we looked at how Marodishu um, sees as God reveal, that God is revealed through nature. Um, that That's where he's found. And his great argument is that the world has been created and um, being an effect of God as cause of all. So God is the only cause of all, the only self-existing one. Everything else is a um, a being of his will, right? Its existence is a as an effect of God as cause of all. Um, and so we have the argument, everything that is compounded must have a compounder, everything that's framed must have a framer, regulated, um, must have a regulator. Boy, I don't like this translation. Mrakwana, I kept that, but an organizer, um, and it was also um, a harmonizer. Um, I think the the words and, and ideas of Platonic philosophy were lost on the a lot of the translators. Um, they're great translators. They knew Syriac. They just they didn't kind of weren't into the 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 philosophical tradition that this forms a part of. Um, and it really forms a part of it. Like every one of these lines is basically, uh, uh, it's, it's like taking the punchline out of a book of, of, of one of the great Neoplatonic philosophers. So we came to man is almas ora, is a microcosm, is a abbreviated version of the universe. Actually, the universe perhaps is an expanded version of man, if we want to follow Solomon of Basra. Um, and that the world is created is, is regulated, we see from the order of heavens, the plants, the elements, and this is where we'll, we'll start seeing that like he doesn't get the harmonics um, argument that Odishu makes. Um, anyway, this is available, you can look at it um, on your own. There also is the Syriac and in my conclusion, I'll go over the table of contents, uh, the last thing in this video, uh, of the same chap of the same book. And the Syriac of this is an absolutely wonderful little volume, this one that I'm using, and I'll link to it if it's available freely, if not, um, where you can get a, a nice uh, print copy. This is one of those books I really would put in my uh, personal... Syriac library. Um, it's just a volume that's chock full of stuff. It's what uh, Marisha Shimon's one was based off. This is by Tasha Yosef Kleta. Fortunately, the scanned one has this weird highlighting and not a terribly good scan. So we covered this from the manuscript last time we were about here. Um, the man. I canna del Oh, I canna Nashamach Memar. So as one of the wise ones, one of the, the sages um, said.
Barnasha al-Mazora, man is a small world. So he is a microcosm. This is, they're just translating the, the Greek word microcosm. Hawwit lacham is harmonized, kul dahwa, all that was. So that I think this works on two levels. One is man as the eternal conception of God, or the conception that is the first act of creation. So that's Shriman Basra, Salman Basra says, man's the God, the first thing conceived, the last thing created. So if man is the first thing conceived, that, that Qunuma, because remember, God, Qunuma is primarily the conception in the mind of God before even the potency exists in the world, even the potential, right? Heaven and earth exist gnumically, hypostatically, because that's what it means for them to be. So that level of man itself is the, the, the highest, the truest form, right? It's on the level of, uh, of Shrara, if you look at my video on the Tree of Porphyry, al Shrara. Is that, and then in the Huwaya, in the in the world of becoming, Strain al Medawad, the two worlds that you made, that we use that phrase in Syriac all the time, the world of truth and the world of becoming. In our world of becoming, the material world, but also in the world of truth, of the ideas. Barnasha al Mazura, Hobbit Lachem Kul Dahwa. So everything that was was harmonized in him. So the divine conception of heaven and earth together, the body and the soul together, they harmonize everything. Notice that I'm putting a lot into this. There's a lot more I can put. Um, I'm purposely being very brief. Um, like I said, really Odishu is, is grabbing lines and, and, and he's kind of dropping these. So if you know the literature and the, the idea world, and remember that this is a school. So, um, you know, there could be a book that they read in Greek. The masters of the, of the Syrian school of, of Nisibus had to know classical Greek. And then that that person would teach and generations could have that concept right so these concepts they're pointed at with these catchphrases um, almost like mottos so barnasha al mazora how the way it lachem kul dahwa a kennad del nash min hakim a shopra tlamar just as one of the sages thought it proper shopra beautiful to say a sahto pasikata barnasha man is a Abbreviated edition. U the ba karyatha, wadu karyatha, and in his abbreviations, al magelye, the world is revealed. Mintu kasa, the mihta the shmeya, wad nahire, from the order, the setting, of heaven, and of the lights of the luminaries. So, think of it as the stars, the sun. Um, nuclear energy. So those are the four elements. Earth, air, fire, water. Check out my stuff on the elements. Those that give birth. Here the, he means um, intermediary causes. The minhun. So those that give um, so like a mithyaldana is a tree gives a seed and the tree and the seed grows, right? So a cow gives birth to a calf, and the calf grows. It gives birth. Yalid. Yaiyatha, so it sprouts. Nisbafa are similar word, things that are planted and grow. Mithhaprane, it's things that are dug up, minerals. Uhadamid haywatha, and the members of the animal kingdom, wadwarnasha, and mankind. Zakhya thmihutha, that the wonder, thmihtha, would zakhya, win. Wam aliyutha, and the highness, the majesty, tukashun, of their order, their singular order, tukashun. The khulla khimta. So, what is it winning? What is making uh, the, uh, the wonder of their order, what is it overtaking? It's overtaking the chechemta udhata da'awide, the wisdom and the knowledge of created things. So such it is, um, the union of 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 uh, the immaterial and the material, of of the opposites, that it overtakes the comprehending power of all, of the of the sum of all comprehending powers that are created. So every nothing but God can understand the harmony itself, right? The the wonder of this harmony is greater than
created understanding. Al-Hadi pila qadmaya. Because of this, on this, the first philosophers ked kul zawa min zi'ana dan, as they could judge, they could tell every movement from its mover. Adamma la mitzi'anad ithaw allat kul mtaw. Until they reached unto the unmoved mover, who is the cause of all. This is our code word for God. Sometimes you could even hear uh, God referred to like in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the cause of all. Shema'awa wabra ruhut qudsha allat kul, the cause of all. Or allat kul, it's the name for God. It's a philosopher's name for God, the cause of all. It's the ca- It's the, the, the thing that moves, but itself is not moved. Everything else has to move. Right, it's the it's the it's the hand that hits the do- that sets the dominoes up and then that hits them. The e thaltawa hakima, for he is good and wise, wamse khil, and capable in authority, in power, in potency. Kul audio. Tawa man oh sorry. Good. So he is good because he's caused it himself. Without an external cause, he created. He is wise because his wisdom, because we can see the wonder of the order and the harmony in everything. He has a power over all, he's almighty. We know because Sakulaye Dakyanaith. So um, this his his power over everything that he is almighty is proved because of the union of opposites in nature. So in within natures and between natures there is this opposition, Sakulutha. And that shows that God is truly powerful over all. And the argument here goes back to Ephraim Pardesim. It's that the elements, which themselves are opposites, it's very important to understand elements, to understand Syriac. So it's saying that God is such that the elements themselves, they don't self-exist. Because their opposition wouldn't be an opposition unless God created both of them and including the opposition. So fire and water or hot and cold being opposites, many and one being opposites, only are opposites because they are so with God as the cause of even that. Whereas what Gnostics, what Bardesan would say, is that the potential for creation exists outside of God. And we would firmly deny that. That would be, that's the heresy. Um, even that hot and cold are opposites infers their hotness and their coldness, right? Um, because they're spectral, but that requires a power that's greater than their opposition that unites them. So God is the uniter of opposites. This is a very, very high idea of God. It's very pervasive. It shows up in our prayers. Um, And it calls to mind Carl Jung, because for Carl Jung, as a psychologist, and I'd say a very philosophical psychologist, um, the union of opposites is, is key. It's, it's like the fundament of uh, the, the archetypal structure that he has. Um, and I find that completely congruous, completely at one with what Odish is doing here. Um, because, you know, for Jung, he refers, you strongly, images that, that appeal to a European, especially the 20th century. Uh, so he's picking things up that, that would be like uh, the alchemical tradition. And we are alchemical, but our alchemies in our, you notice our prayers, right? The the natures, the union of opposites. This is everything we're talking about. Very Jungian stuff here. I think Jung would have made a great uh, uh, Syriac uh, uh, theologian. Um, I'm certain he would have. And he would have had a much easier time with Christianity. If he only had these videos. Um, or some Marodishu. Um, but... The union of opposites, it's order and chaos as cooperators, as melechmutha, as a harmony. Hot and cold, in the four elements as a harmony. And that's how you know God's Almighty, because He's the harmonizer of opposites, uniter of opposites. 
God is not male or female. So the divine pair, that's not in God. That's what God creates, right? He creates order and chaos, act and potency. Um, create, creation as, as the idea of heaven and earth and as the, the great waters, the great pot, pot, potency, al-mumkin. And for Jung, and this is, I think, also a very true, this is just a statement that's obvious, um, usually the order principles as masculine as the seed, um, uh, as, as kind of fire, and the uh, chaos or receptive or um, um, womb-like is feminine, like the earth, like the womb, um, like water, and, and these two, they're united. So it, it, it's not being masculine and feminine at the same time, but it's the constant union of the masculine and the feminine together, of ordering chaos together. Um, and see, that's how I, because if you, if you think of just order, then all of a sudden you start losing all diversity. It isn't that you would just lose my dog and your dog, if matter doesn't exist, but dogness itself is described materially, right? Um, that's what separates it from catness. There's some material properties. They're not in any one dog material, but they're also not like saying the word animal. They're not that abstract. They're intermediary. So this is about those levels of existence, those concentric uh, worlds of, of order and chaos interplaying of the masculine, the feminine, uh, act and, and, and potency of the seed and the earth, this idea. So forgive me if that got a little abstract. Uh-huh. And so to one ayyuta, one unity, these are gathered. Right here. Lahda ayyuta kanish. Tudin batin al mahana shikhaw. And this world is found. Aina yutha by whichness, what khmayutha and khmayuta and how muchness. So quantity and quality. Aina yutha is quality. Khmayutha is Quantity, the gushme of bodies, what the ruhe and spirits or immaterial, was nan yutha tauche. So a tauche is like in music, when you go from one to the other, an interval. So this um, world is found. So when you're actually experiencing the world, you experience its qualities its quantities the of, of bodily things of spiritual things the um, intervals of uh, so the the temporality of intervals and mythche and um, and durations so it's 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 in a mathematical way but how are we going to understand this in a musical way? So it's like um, the the pulsations of the universe that, uh, you know, we have a lifespan or we have the span of a year, right? That is a mitcha. And a tocha is about the repetitions. So the mind is able to understand and take in the world through these lesser ways, right? We we can't take in just by looking at something um, everything that it means to be. We we look at a tree. We we have to understand its treeness. You know, its its look, its quality. We can count its qu quantities. We can write its when it was born, when it would die. We could speak about its yearly intervals of growth. And all of these discrete parts, they're knowable to us. But they come from this union of opposites. And they show that this union is happening at so many different levels. That, it, that, that it's like a concert, but instead of each instrument, is, is itself a concert hall. And one person is setting 
these these patterns of of being that that reverb out and and as they reverb out basically the melody changes but the interval stays the same the, the structures you know it doesn't fall into chaos even though it's constantly creative so that the world is not lesser or greater and the individual parts are not lesser or greater than that which they are meant to be right that 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 the sun is not further or closer to the earth that our uh, the, the the neutrinos in the in the atoms in our molecules are not faster or, or, or slower um, you know whoever was born a 30th of a second before me or 30th second later or three meters to the right or three meters to the left is a different person right the, the, the this exactitude and yet polyvalence of possibility um, and yet still having meaning within that whether it be from above from below where they are we get altabae dilana youth scheme with the muata tauhe naqipel khulhun wal kul khad khad minhun wa wahwayhun quwayhun paumaditehun so in what they are by the cause, the alta, that it is what wants. It through it's it's like when God he wants there to exist animals, and so animal wants to exist as dog, and so dog orders dogness out of matter, right? Something like this. The la schema, the particularity of the schema of the schematic, demuatha, demuatha is likenesses, utauche. The intervals, it nagipa that is attached al walhul to all of them together walkul and each of them kul khad khad minun, so uh, to the entirety and to the singular. It's like if I think about my dog as a philosophical subject. There's my golden retriever born I don't know two three years ago on a particular day dies someday, and 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 it's only in one you know part of my house at a time as part of the world, so the one, but also kulchun, also all animal, all potential life, right? We can we can use it both ways. Um, so, kulchun wal kulchad. Chad minhun, one of them, huwayhun and their being. Hua quwayhun, where they stand, where they remain. So that their being huwayhun, u quwayhun. So, Guwehun uh, is like saying in, in Thomas's language, if you know, the ente and the essay. This is of their existence as a discrete subject and also their existence um, as, as a being of another. Their uh, existence and their um, essence. But essence, of course, we refer to God. So that's why we say that Hua, that he was of God, he existed, and Qua, and he remained. As so, we don't say it as senses, but you know, he's a person. But yeah, it's essence in, in the secondary sense. Because that they are something else we cannot find, right? I am the humanity. I am star. Min suyana the dated awuda. We can't find anything else, right? Other than in their existence, I look at, you know, this this, this cat or this dog or this human being, call him Tom, nothing else can I find other than the will and the knowledge of the maker, he who caused them to be and took us and order them as he wanted and as he knows would be helpful, would be proper so there's nothing that that should make tom a, a human being or make fido a dog other than that god wanted them to be that there is the allah kul that we're talking about here god in that sense of allah kul and so they blossom and this is feminine because it's in the abstract syriac does so 
it's necessary always that the cause, the awada, be before the thing done. So God has to pre-exist. His time has not can't, he can't exist in time. He has to be the untimed, and that's why there can only be one of them that causes the the temporal. Just to make sure to prove that he is the doer that is from before of those that are that are not self-existing, but that he made them. And this we know that is also true. Awida Aramaden it um, so this is how we know that the world and time itself and the intervals and the motions and all this stuff is created. So the argument is that God is outside the universe. There are no elements. There's no potency outside of God. That heaven and earth, perhaps you can think of it as heaven as the order, earth as uh, chaos, if you want to use that kind of Jordan Peterson style language, you want to be more Jungian about it, the male and the feminine. That's the earliest I can find in this to to place uh, the union of opposites. The union of opposites begins with the one that has the 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 masculine and the feminine, and there's your your kind of trinity reflecting from the trinity. It's not the original trinity, right? It's the philosophical, and then uh, order and chaos. They have their, uh, think of it, their, their hot and their cold version of each. Um, and uh, uh, so you have the four elements, and then from the four, you have this plurality, the three and the four, which is also big and young. And Odishu, how am I putting this together? Because I'm, I, if you want, after you've made sure you're subscribed and that you've got notifications turned on, um, I, I could do one on, on Jung in this, this system, um, but uh, the idea is of both the God is, in, in, in his vision itself, itself creates its own potency. Potency is not outside of God. What does that mean? That means that uh, when God creates man, he creates him to be male and female. It's not that matter splits a united human being into male and female. That's Gnosticism. Um, it's not that anything outside of God is, is something that, like, God has an idea and it wrestles with some kind of matter or, or uh, you know, he himself is the cause of eternal motion. There's no eternal motion upon which God acts. Um, and this is what makes us not pagan. This is, you know, Gnosticism, like I said, that's, you don't want to do that. Uh, but you do want to have a definition of it, because sometimes basic spirituality gets called Gnostic, and that's just silly. That's just people being materialists, and that's, that's, that's super Gnostic. You're only worshipping matter. Time is not eternal, he's saying. This is a big, this, I just said it. Umhad Galiath. Okay, it was revealed. She was revealed. The eighth, the Awoda Tawa. He has a good maker. O Chakima, and a wise one. Thumai, an eternal. Chilthana, Ithli Sawyana. And a powerful one, an almighty one, Ithli Sawyana, who is a willing one. So, as promised, and in conclusion of this video, let's go check out the goodies that's in this volume. I will try to. Um, I, will, I will link up uh, where you can buy it. It's not that expensive, and I, I couldn't find a good downloadable one. If you join my Discord server, I'll throw it up there. I haven't been as active. I will soon be very active on there. Um, so uh, please join there and whatever you want in terms of learning materials, uh, you know, say it. I'm going to be checking it once a day and then setting up a few lessons there and, and things like that. So join the Discord. Also link in the description. This is what I've been reading from Kitab Maqariya Marganitha. Um, this is from Mosul, 1924. This is the standard um, kind of uh, theology book, I guess, for Church of the East today. Um, and there's the intro. Let's just look at the table of contents. Rushmam Chawiyana. So intro. Da, 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 da. 
This is the Marganita, chapter 1, chapter 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this is the cool stuff. So let's blow that up. Mumra al Kitawa Athanaya. So this is Odisha's list. Mumra Khujbane Dachronikun on the um, measurement of, of, of the chronology of, of time. Sorry, I just make sure I didn't miss anything. Aunita al Kathalifa Patirki Madinha. So him on the, the patriarchs. Purshana Dachyana Mengduma Parsupa, which is in the other book as well, in the English translation. Difference of nature, Gduma and Parsupa. So for your Christology nuts. Brichanana Dal Taibuthe, which is also in the other book. Most of this is. Shara Gelya Badak al Alaha. Madrasha Khoshiba Riayat Subara. Al Qunuma the Tlitha Yutha Kadishta on the Qunume of the Holy Trinity. Adla Midbasya Nutha Dakhyana Alahaya. Mana la Audina Nyoma Tsubara. So, why we don't do the days of the Subara in March? And the Subara of Gabriel to the Annunciation in March. We do it in December. Uh, why we don't have the feast of Zorta, the circumcision, the entrance of the Lord. Uh, why the uh, church has Kainkin, Hekla, the altar, and the temple. Shmahed Ahta Web Sudrad Abgedaya, name of books in alphabetical, and the Sudra of the patriarchs, plus the patriarchs and Zuhara, a uh, admonition. So, great book if you've you've got good syriac it's it's up there it's not going to be an easy book to read in syriac it's definitely something you read after you can read the new testament easily uh because it's a lot of medieval stuff and those guys love their to get all philosophical um thank you very much god bless uh take care goodbye